A question we get asked often here at Beacon is whether or not the headphone amp in Beacon products is strong enough to power high impedance headphones. And the answer is yes. In this video, we're going to look at the amp power section of the headphone tab of Beacon Studio, and we're going to help you determine which option is best for you depending on your headphones. Let's jump in. To get to the amp power section on Beacon Studio, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the mic chain section, which is this button right here. You're going to click this, and then you're going to go to the headphones tab, which is this tab right here. And when you go into it, you're going to see here on the right hand side is the amp power section. For this section of the app, what I'm going to do is I'm going to detail what each option is and an example of each one just so you can determine what will be best for you. It's important that you should always research your own headphones to make sure that you're making the right selection. In-ear monitor mode is for headphones that go directly into your ear canal. Typically these headphones are much more efficient in terms of how much power they use, so you want to use this option if you're using in-ear monitors. It's really important to set this to in-ear monitors if you're using them because they are so efficient. If you have it set to normal power, for instance, the volume could be very loud and you could risk damaging your hearing. So make sure to set this correctly if you are using in-ears. The next option that we see here is line level. An instance where you would use line level is if you have, say for instance, a Steel Series headset where you're running a 3.5 millimeter cable from the DAC that came with the headset into the back of the studio so that you could still use your wireless headphones. You would set this to line level and then you would use your headset like you normally would. Next, we have normal power. This will cover most 3.5 millimeter headsets that you plug into studio. You would set this to normal power. The last option that we see here is high impedance mode. High impedance mode is for headphones that are high impedance. So an example of these would be like DT990 Pros that are the 250 ohm versions. It's important that if you're using high impedance headphones that you do set it to high impedance mode. Otherwise, you'll notice that the volume is quite low and you're not gonna get the sound that you desire out of them. 